Hi, good evening. Welcome back to my evening um, football context. I'm recording again, live and direct. This is your host, this is your guy himself, BLG Repping. And um, I am bringing you um, a lot more um, football um, context as ever. And I want to bring you some... I'm going to bring you um, an up-to-date football context, but uh, before I start that off, I'm going to do something a little bit different, well, and let's talk about the Arsenal, and um, I'm hearing um, these reports coming from media sources about Torreira being heavily linked with a move to um, Atletico Madrid, and um, Partey will be coming the other way, and um, he's moved to... Um, Torreira's move to um, Torino on a loan deal will not happen after, um, after all. God knows why. It could be <coughs> Arsenal won a permanent deal, meaning that they want cash up front. Or is it due to the fact that um, Torino haven't got the full amount of money that Arsenal are asking for? So it leaves... Um, Torreira going in, a, in a, um, a swap deal, what looks like a swap deal for um, Mr. Partey coming the other way. And that, yeah, it does make complete sense. Um, what do you guys think? Torreira and um, Partey coming in opposite directions. I mean, it'll be an exciting one. Just drop it in the comments below. That's your views, all your opinions. Um, I'm here. I'm just hopeful, being an Arsenal fan, just really hopeful that we can get um, Partey and Awa. And I know Arsenal do have some money, um, like cash reserves, but the problem is, for some reason, we're going to leave it there. So we're going to end up selling players. I mean, speaking of selling players, Mustafi has um, been heavily linked with um, Napoli, him and Socrates. And for me, his valuation has dropped since um, he signed for Arsenal and I can't say he's had the best of times. Only recent couple of, well, more than a couple of games, he was consistently good. But for me, he's just not the uh, finishing article, which means he's just never going to be he was never going to be and never going to and never was good enough for the club or for the team. And for me, it's time to cut ties with him. 15 million euros has been quoted for um, Squadron Mustafi. And um, Napoli seems um, really interested in him. So we'll see what we can get. We can see what, well, we'll see what will happen with that one. That one should be concluded. Um, the other centre-half that we're looking to get rid of, because we've got about eight, it's um, the Greek international. Not Mavropanos, but um, Socrates Papastafapoulos. Yep, I've pronounced that name right for you. I'll do it again. Socrates Papastafapoulos. He could be going on a three. I don't know if we'll get any valuation out of him. If we're lucky, we'll get we'll squeeze a, a two... Three million out of him. I mean, he is definitely surplus to requirement, and he won't be needed. So um, I think, well, we'll get well if we're lucky. We'll get in British money thirteen million between Socrates and Mustafa, which is not an awful lot of money. Which is fine because um, I would like to believe that we're going to be building our entire strength and depth squad in and amongst a, a more younger younger players so price and valuation will hit the roof as they perform well as they make appearances as they gain more knowledge and experience etc then you'll see the price assets but for me um That's um, Socrates and, and Mustafi. I think they won't be playing for Arsenal for that long. So let's just hope um, 
we make some sales out of that. I mean, we've raised a subtotal of 21.5 million if you include player sales of Martinez and Sam Greenwood, who is um, a youth academy striker. He's gone to Leeds. If we can get um, money out of those two, let's say, for argument's sakes, 30 million. You add that to the 21, that's about, what, 30... That's 30... That's 33.5, million. It's not much on, tra on transfer fees. And um, another bit of news that emerged from us is um, Matteo Guendouzi. Now, he's in for... Well, he could be in for a shock move to Chelsea. Now, that would be a big shock. I mean, I'm not against it. If Chelsea come in with the right bid and they're obviously showing interest, and if they are showing that interest and they're coming in with the right bid, then yeah, let's make the deal happen. Let's um, get him off to Chelsea. You know, wages wise, he didn't come up. He doesn't command much. He's under a hundred thousand a week, or in between seventy to eighty thousand a week player. He'll get more money at Chelsea. So be it. That's fine. I mean. His um, appalling attitude has really cost him his career at Arsenal. And he's been frozen out by Arteta. It's clear to me that Arteta really wants to get rid of him. And when he said clean slate, he meant clean slate in Arsenal selling players. He meant that in Arsenal performing fantastically well on the pitch or he, he must have meant that in Arsenal being consistently magnificent in their performances, should I say. Clean slate meaning um, starting from fresh, starting from some scratch. Not clean slate in the players that um, is in the squad. He wants players out. He, 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 may, have, um, he may have come across as... Um, teasing the media, the media, but he was not teasing the media, Arteta, I can assure you. He meant clean slate in in a, in a, in a sense where he's um, wanting an Arsenal to move onwards and upwards, forwardly, not sideways or backwards. Uh-uh. Nah. There'll be players be going. And if we can do the biggest one of all in terms of outgoing and find a way of getting rid of Muzza Ozil, my word, we would we would celebrate. That player is just there stealing a living. 350000 a week. And for what? For me, he's he doesn't turn up enough in the big games. He's highly inconsistent. It's just um, not enough for me. And there's a reason why Arteta's frozen him out. And he can see. He can eat. I don't know. what I don't know if he can see what Emery can see. But he sees for himself Arteta. He obviously sees for himself. That um, Ozil is going to refuse to buy into the philosophy possibly. Or he's just not good enough for the system that we play. Definitely not good enough for a 3-4-3. Or a 4-3-3. Whereas when Grindosi, he may suit um, either one of the two deformations I've just called out, but his attitude is just rotten to the core, complete toxic, and we need and it is not welcome in the dressing room. He is not welcome amongst our fan base, and he's definitely not welcome at Arsenal Football Club. Leave as soon as you can, Mister. Well, Matteo Grindosi, just leave as soon as you can. Bye bye from me, and hopefully, bye bye from the millions of Arsenal fans who know who you are. We've seen the end. Right, um, just want to bring you a little football context here, and this is about Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich, and it says in the head title, written in yellow on the BBC Interactive, by the way, Abramovich had secret stakes in rival players. Now, this is um, a big mystery for me. All of a sudden, this has all come out. I suppose they're in 
investigating this whole situation with um, Abramovich having secret in rival players. Now, it says here, Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich held secret investments in footballers not owed by his club. And an investigation has discovered the players included the Peruvian winger Andre Carrillo, who turned out against Chelsea in Champions League matches in 2014. Held, he held rights to the players through a company based in the British Virgin Islands. Wow. This is some real dodgy stuff. I've always said that Abramovich looked dodgy back in 2013. And you know what? We're in 2020, 17 years later. He's at it again. I don't. I can't say he does not have pre um, previous. Who knows? But um, it's not black and white with Abramovich. Can't even get back into the country for what? What visa reasons? Possibly more more than the visa reasons. Who knows why he is not back in the country? Anyway, reading on, he held rights in the yeah. I've read that bit. Mr. Abramovich spoke to him and stressed no rules or regulations were broken. Oh, should I say pull the other one out? <laughs> Chelsea fans, um, feel free to drop a um, a line in my comment section below. Air your um, opinions and your views on this. Feel free to um, have your say so. Because um, mm, something does not add up. I could have got it. I could have got the wrong end of the stick, but feel free to um, add your comments as as well as um, football fans. Feel free to have your say in my comment section below. While you're doing that, smash the thumbs up like button and um, smash the hell out of the subscribe button for me. Gloriously, left, right, and centre, and hard and passionately. Let me see more subscribers for today, tonight, tomorrow next day and day after etc etc let's keep this channel growing yeah and i'll do my best to bring you the, the latest um ongoings with my club your clubs any football club up and down the world just full of not as long as it's knowledgeable and um, up-to-date context that's what i deal with no bs so ladies and gentlemen to the boys to the girls once again I say thank you again for listening. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And once again, you wonderful people, um, it's peace, love, bless again. And um, keep showing me the support all the way, yeah? And I'll give you my best football context. And that's me helping you out. And you help me out by supporting me by smashing that subscribe button. That don't show me that you support. That don't just show me that you're supporting me, but you are uh, showing the um, the loving that I need to get through this. Once again, it's good night, and do make sure you rest well. I'm out of here.